Welcome to example program. In this video, we will see how we can write a simple Java program to add two numbers. In this tutorial, we will be asking the user to enter two numbers. Then we will add those two numbers and display the result. Here I have already written some code. I have created the package example program and then I have included the scanner class from util and then we have our class called as program and then we have the static main method inside this class program and this static main method is going to be the entry point of our program from our perspective. Now here the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to declare some of the variables that we need in this program. As I said before, we will be taking the input from the user. So we need a couple of variables to store the numbers entered by the user. And since we are working with integer values here, let's create the variables of type integer. And I will call my first variable as num1 and my second variable as num2. Now in this num1 and num2 variable, I'm going to store the numbers entered by the user. And after that, we need another variable to store the result of num1 plus num2. And I'm going to call that variable as result. Okay. Now we have three variables. Now the next thing that we have to do is we have to display a message asking the user to enter two numbers. Then we have to read those two numbers and we have to store that in this num1 and num2 variable. In this program, we will be using this scanner class to take the input. So we need to create an object of this scanner class and let's create that now. So it will be scanner and I'm going to call my object as input here. Input is the object name equal to new scanner and we have to pass in system dot in. Okay. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to display the message asking the user to enter the number. So we can display the message by using system dot out dot print line method. And I'm going to specify the message as enter the number one. And after seeing this message, the user is going to enter a number. Now what we have to do is we have to read that number and we have to store that in this num1 variable. To read an integer value entered by the user, we will be using the next int method available in this scanner class. So to use that method, we need to use the object of the scanner class. And here that object name is input. So it will be input dot next int. So this next int method will read an integer value and it will return that. Now the next thing that we have to do is we have to store the red value in the num1 variable. So it will be num1 equal to input dot next int. Okay. Now we have read the first number entered by the user. We have to do the same thing for the second number. So I'm going to copy those two statements and I'm going to paste them here. And I'm going to change this message as enter the number two and uh, we will store whatever the number that we read in this num2 variable. So here with these statements, we are reading two numbers and we are storing them in this num1 and num2 variable. Now here we are done with the input part. We have read all the values that we need from the user. So what we're going to do is we're going to close the input stream by using the close method available in the scanner class. So it will be input dot close. Okay. Now the next thing that we have to do is we have to add the values inside the num1 and num2 variables and we have to store that inside the result variable. So we will do num1 plus num2. Here this plus is called as the addition operator and it will add the values inside the num1 variable and num2 variable and it will return that result. So what we're going to do is we're going to store that return value in this result variable. So it will be result equal to num1 plus num2. Now we have the result or the output inside the result variable. What we have to do is we have to display that value. We can display that value by using system dot out dot print line method or any other method which is available to print values. 
Here, this time, I'm going to use the printf method. This printf method allows me to format the string values the way I want. So here, I'm going to format it like percentage %d plus percentage %d equal to percentage %d. So here, I have formatted it in such a way that it will display num1 plus num2 equal to result. If the user is going to enter 1 and 2, then it will display 1 plus 2 equal to 3. Now here after this formatting, we need to fill in the placeholders. This this first placeholder will be for the value stored in the num1 variable. The second placeholder, which is this percentage %d is for num2 variable. And the third placeholder will be filled with the value of the result variable. Okay. Now we have written the program. The next thing that we do is we will build and run this. Now enter the number one. I'm going to enter 26. Enter the number two. I'm going to enter 64. And the result is 90. Here I have used the addition operator and I have stored the result in the result variable. You don't need to use the result variable. You can directly perform this num1 plus num2 here in this position. And also I have used the addition operator. If you want, you can use the subtraction, multiplication or the division operator here. So this is it guys for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then hit the like button. If you don't like it, then hit the dislike button. If you want to say something, then write that in the comment box. Uh, for more tutorials like this, do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later in the next video.